And I was really, really <laughs> confused when I came into this, that there was actually no proof of physical measurements or any of this stuff that they're claiming rotation. And I looked into it and I was absolutely baffled. And you're going to sit here and say, oh, science is about mass, right? You can find it in calculations, equations of BS. I'm talking about reality. Like all these people are. How do you believe something that you've never seen in reality or they can't provide you and show you? Oh, but it's science. Honey, that's not science. It's called pseudoscience. I want no part of it. And I'm a 38-year-old woman and I'm asking for that proof, that evidence that has been, I've been asking for a year and a half. You can't provide it. You want to show me data, equations. I want to see that geometric horizon that you claim that we have that's being refracted now for this apparent one. I'm getting really sick and tired of you telling me that this horizon is physical because you cannot find that. You cannot show that. And I want this physical measurements. I want these physical things to be presented to me in reality. And if you can't provide those, then people need to sit down and stop claiming it's evidence. It's really, really disgusting. Woohoo! You tell them. I share that outrage. That's pain I can get behind. Damn right, you Thank demand you. it of them. You show us this bullshit proof you've got in maths. Yeah, I'm right behind you, sister. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan. Now, because I asked for evidence and you don't have it besides the some, like, some paperwork, the peer reviews and nothing else? Nothing else? Pictures? I have evidence, but Nathan is screaming at me if I present it and saying it's wrong without evidence. No, 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 I'm asking you for yeah, it. And your evidence that you've even like, shown me and Jim Panda's server and all of it is absolutely ridiculous. It's all data and a bunch of nonsense. And you guys keep telling me atmosphere could contain atmosphere and all these gravity wells and all this nonsense that doesn't represent in reality. Uh, the problem is, if we give you evidence, you ask for the evidence of the evidence, and if he, uh, we give you the evidence <laughs> for the evidence. That's all we're asking. Show us it happening in nature. If it's claimed Earth as Coriolis, show us it. Show us things drifting. That's all we're asking. If we're talking about the first part of the scientific method, which is the observation or a problem, then I don't need to show you something in nature. I just need a problem or an observation. I see. So because it's either or, problem or observation, you can then say if it's a problem, it therefore becomes a problem for a heliocentric world, I reify. No, if it doesn't happen in nature, if it's not a problem in nature, it's not something we need to concern ourselves with in nature. Now you can concern yourself with the problem in maths, but it's not a problem in nature. That's the point. It's science. Science is exclusively interested in the physical and natural world. Observe natural phenomena, that would be your dependent variable in a hypothesis and then your presumed cause. What you're doing with this little magic trick is trying to create a problem, call it science, so that you can loosely associate it with a world that you reify from maths. That's a heliocentric model of a world. And in your model of a world, you have Coriolis effect. In reality, physical, observable nature, we don't observe that effect of things drifting.